We've had great cooperation in the past. Um, you know, the, the efforts we've undertaken with the uh, support of the Pakistani uh, government to go after al-Qaeda has uh, proven to be quite effective. Now we have to turn our attention to the Pakistani Taliban, the Afghan Taliban, Haqqani, and other terrorist groups um, and try to get them into a peace process, but if that fails, prevent them from committing more violence and murdering more innocent people. The top U.S. diplomat spent Friday locked in talks with Pakistani leaders following a four-hour session late Thursday in a neighboring Afghanistan designed to quicken an end to one of America's longest wars. Accompanied by CIA Director David Petraeus and the top U.S. military officer General Martin Dempsey, she increased pressure on Pakistan to take concrete action. She conceded that safe havens existed on both sides of the Afghan border, but pointed to recent operations to say that the international forces were trying to prevent attacks on Pakistan. Clinton also sought to reassure concerns by saying that the U.S. respects sovereignty and security concerns of Islamabad and promised long-term support. But she gave no details as to what kind of support it would be. Also, Clinton said that both sides could cooperate more on intelligence sharing and work to stop smuggling of explosive material into Afghanistan. So we are trying, in response to the legitimate concerns that we have heard from our Pakistani uh, partners, we are trying to squeeze and prevent uh, terrorists on the Afghan side of the border uh, from attacking Pakistan. Sir, we're trying to increase our efforts on the Afghan side of the border, and we're working uh, with our Pakistani uh, partners to explore the ways that we can uh, squeeze them. But it's not just military action. There is greater sharing of intelligence so that we can prevent, plan an attack. Pakistan, on its part, has made it clear to the U.S. that its policy in the ongoing war on terror will now be guided by the resolution of all parties' conference, which calls upon giving peace a chance. This was conveyed by the Foreign Minister Hina Rabani Khart to the visiting U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton during a joint news conference in Islamabad. The people of Pakistan have suffered at the hands of this struggle for far too long. And let me state clearly that in evolving any future strategy, the government will be guided by the principles or the resolution of the all parties conference which calls upon the government to give peace a chance. And I think we can together, Madam Secretary, you will agree, work towards peace to bring prosperity to this region. However, Islamabad appeared to be willing to take some U.S. considerations into view as Foreign Minister Khar agreed to more cooperation between the two sides. Khar recognized that militants have safe havens on both sides of the Pak Afghan border, but she denied U.S. accusations that elements within the ISI support the Haqqani network or other Afghan militants. Khar reiterated that Pakistan is in favor of a peaceful and stable Afghanistan for the larger interests of the region. There is no question of any support to any safe havens inside Pakistan. I believe that we have a broad convergence on the principles. We have to now work on the operational details and hopefully as we go forward with greater uh, interaction uh, both at the policy level and at other levels, we will be able to get that operational convergence which has in so far been slightly missing. And while Hillary Clinton was pressing Pakistan to tighten the noose around Afghan militants on its side of the border, NATO forces claimed they had killed numerous militants in an airstrike in a southern Afghan province. The US-led coalition said Two suspected militants were also detained following the airstrike in a district in Zabul province. According to NATO's